I'd like to share some tips on converting your old paper assignments into digital activities. Now, what you see on the screen here is something that I created years ago when I was teaching biology. Uh, I created this in Microsoft Word, and then I would print it out, and my students would write their responses using pencil or pen and turn it in. This was before Google Classroom, Google Drive, Chromebooks were available. Well, now that I have access to all those tools, I want to upgrade this assignment so that I can assign it through Google Classroom and students can submit their responses uh, electronically by typing in Google Docs. So it's going to require a little bit of um, updating and changing the format of this document. Now, I've done this a few times and I've come up with a few strategies that seem to work well. I'm going to share those with you here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete the name uh, row because Google Classroom does that for me automatically. Um, I no longer have to rely on students to type their name on the paper. Only half of them did it anyways. Google Classroom does that for me automatically. Now let's go down to the first question. Um, I'm going to optimize this for typed responses by inserting a table. I found that when working with Google Docs, if you have a, a file that you want students to type their responses, it's easiest to add a table. So I'm going to go to the insert menu, down to table, and I'm just going to insert a two uh, row table, just like that. I'm going to place the question in the first row, and then the four responses. I'm going to cut those and paste them uh, down below. Okay. Now, we still need to optimize this because you know typing in the middle of a line, it's just weird. It doesn't look very good. And I want this to be easy for students to reply, and I want this to make this easy for me to grade as well. Um, what I found to be effective is to actually type the words um, type answer here in text. And I'll put brackets or asterisks around that. And then I like to make it bold and even change the color of the text. Um, that makes it easier for students to see where their answer goes, but it also makes it easier for me to grade because their response will stay in red as well. So I just can quickly scan through the red uh, text. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that quickly. Um, I actually have this done. I'm just going to copy and paste for all of that. Good. Done. So let's go down to the second question here. Now, this was a um, compare and contrast question. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add my table, insert table, uh, two rows. We'll add our question to the first one. There we go. All right. Now, this one, I'm going to take advantage of the digital tools that are now available to me. Now, when my students were typing their responses, they would uh, I, maybe do a table. They could do a Venn diagram. They could do a bulleted list comparing the uh, characteristics of these two animals. Google uh, Docs has the ability to do a drawing right inside of the document. So this is pretty cool. So I'm going to go to the insert menu. I'm going to go to drawing and I'm going to add a new drawing. So if you're familiar with Google drawing, that's what this is. And this really makes it easy to do a Venn diagram. Now I previously created one. So again, I'm just going to copy and paste this in uh, for speed so you can see what it would look like. There we go. So pretty straightforward. I just added some shapes. I uh, added colors to those shapes, and then I added text boxes on top so students can type their response in there. Now, it is important to add at the top of your drawing something uh, I recommend says double click to edit. Let me show you what this looks like. So this is what it's going to look like when it's added to your document. It's Students need to understand, they need to be told that, you know, if you just click on it, it just looks like an image. But if you double click, then the drawing opens up and that's where they would be able to type their response uh, in the drawing. So I'm not just converting paper assignments into digital assignments. I'm trying to enhance those assignments using the new technologies uh, that are now available to me. Let's wrap this up by uh, finishing this third and final question. This is an open-ended discussion question, um, asking students to kind of apply their knowledge. I'm going to go and insert my table once again. I'm going to cut my question, paste it in there, um, clean it up a little bit, make it bold so it matches. And the table is nice because you can um, add additional lines and make your table bigger or smaller to signify the general length of a response that you're expecting. So for this one, I'm looking for you know a three to five sentence 
uh, response with supporting uh, evidence compared with, you know, up here, I'm just asking for a single um, word response. Now, this is just a simple example of how I'm converting my previously printed worksheets into digital ones. Now that this is done, I can assign this through Google Classroom. I'll use the make a copy for each student option so that everybody gets their own uh, to fill it out.